here we are in the very highest area of the intertidal zone of these mangroves. And that means that this area gets flooded very infrequently. And what occurs because the flooding doesn't occur very much is that salts concentrate in the soil because of evaporation. Now the only thing that can persist out here under such harsh conditions are salt marsh plants, and we've got Sarcocornia and Sueda at my feet here, and then these very stunted individuals of Avicennia marina. And we call this scrub often. So this is what's called scrub mangrove, where we have short forms of something that only 50 metres away is reaching about 15 metres. So what you can see here are these little bubbles of oxygen coming off this cyanobacterial algal match that's on the surface of this salt marshy area high in the intertidal. And this is oxygen evolved during photosynthesis. So where we are here is in the intertidal zone of the mangrove. And this is the very high intertidal. So it's, it's incredibly salty here on the surface of the soil, maybe two or three times the concentration of seawater. So we're here to look at these kinds of roots. Now these belong to this tree here, Avicennia marina, and these are its above ground breathing roots, which we call pneumatophores, sometimes People refer to them as snorkel roots because they really have that kind of function of having little holes in them and spongy tissue inside that allows the oxygen of the air to go down and into the roots below. And you can almost follow this whole line of pneumatophores back to the tree from which it originates. So here I am standing at right at the very edge of the salt marsh scrub mangrove zone, so very high in the intertidal, and I'm going to transition just in really a few steps into the next forest zone here, which is dominated by uh, trees in the genus Cereops. So we're gonna move past these now taller Avicennia trees and into the Cereops. Now here we are in a Cereops forest and Cereops trees have this other kind of root system. So we've talked about prop roots, which are the stilt kind of roots, and also about knees and also about pneumatophores or peg roots that are like snorkels. And this is another kind of root system that's really very typical of a range of species in the mangroves. Here it is in Cereops, so these lovely sort of fluted buttresses that hold the tree up and also have breathing uh, holes, lenticels on the surface that help to transport oxygen down into the root system below the ground. But other species also have these root forms and that includes Heretiera and also Xylocarpus granatum. Well here we are in the Cereops forest and we're about to move further down the intertidal, so towards the ocean, and we're moving from the Cereops forest into the Rhizophora forest. So we're going from a place that has these lovely fluted buttresses and lots of area to walk, to one that has these stilt roots that make it a lot more difficult. Well, I'm standing in one of the big rhizophoras that are in this forest. And you can see how far off, how far off the ground I am. That, uh, and I'm standing on top of the prop roots. Now remember, these prop roots are really important for supporting this tree in the soft mud, but also because they're breathing roots. They allow the transport of oxygen below the soil surface. Now, if you can look just behind me, you can see that this forest is really quite narrow and you can see behind that that there are white trunks of the next forest zone appearing. 